Hello and everyone, welcome to Technofeed. This is the first video ever making. Wow. Um, <laughs> great first video. I don't know, I'm gonna work on that, but yeah. Uh, if y'all have tuned into Technofeed, so this is basically me just talking about what I've got on my Google News page, which is mostly related to technology or just some random things that I found. And what we're going to do is just on this channel here right now, we are going to talk about it and discuss about it. And like, if I have my own opinions, they're my opinions solely based on my opinions. No one else has given me their own opinions. This is just based on what I think right now. So uh, I'm your host, Josh. So basically, I'm just a tech-savvy person who just likes tech. That's just a notification, ignore that. <laughs> but I'm, I'm a person who just likes tech and I'm just doing all of this in one take. So don't judge me for anything else. But let's just go in and dive in and talk about some good tech today. First article is already clearly iPod, AirPod, sorry, AirPods third generation could replace your Apple Watch with this feature. Okay, so as you know that Apple has released the AirPods Pro and the AirPods second gen and they are stoked to be releasing it next year if I'm not wrong for the AirPods third generation of it the of course first also called truly wireless Bluetooth earpiece I own the second generation myself but firstly of okay they say that they may replace Apple Watch features but clearly in the photos it says AirPods Pro but okay Okay, they say future AirPods could have ambient light sensors to detect heart rates or other health conditions. Hmm. AirPods having ambient light sensors. Isn't that a bit weird? I Means in your ear. So where is the ambience in that? Okay, so we're just gonna scroll down probably it may make more sense. Apple's AirPods 3 could use an embedded light sensor to monitor your health. Wow, embedded light sensor. I don't know how that thinks. Let me think about it. Embedded light sensor, how does that even work? Okay, if we scroll down past this. As it stands, AirSports 3s are predicted to arrive in second half of years. As I said, second half of next year. But this you have the iPhone 12 first. But I don't think we'll have the iPhone 12. Oh! But the AirPods 3rd Gen R will arrive in the second half of this year. Around the same time as the iPhone 12. Okay, I'm just having two contradicting informations. Information? Okay, this is a horrible take, but whatever. I'm just going to go with it. Uh, Digitime sources are correct. Oh, time frame for adding ALS to future AirPods. Hmm. Okay. But as of this, I don't know. I don't see Samsung doing this. I don't see any other, like, company doing this as of now. Like, okay, if it's a Galaxy Pi Google Pixel Bud 2, the one that just Google just released, which was a lot better than the first one. First one they call it truly wireless, but there is still a wire. Everybody knows that there is still a wire. And as well, the known competitor ish Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus. I personally own the normal Galaxy Buds also. Don't own the Buds, but the Plus. Oh my god, sorry. But talking about it really. And previously filed for Pen 10. Patients relating to health monitoring in earbuds will be in WWDC 2020 event if there will be a WWDC this year. Really depends. Whoops. Wrong place. So that's the first article covered on AirPods. Wow. Okay. Such random. All right. Moving on. All right. 
everybody knows what Pablo Escobar is. Basically, this huge drug lord all the way in the US and works with Mexico. So they have done things quite oddly. So they have come out with two folding phones before. Oh, sorry, should I say bought two folding phones from other companies? First one being the Escobar Fold 1, which is basically a Royal Flex Pie, but just wrapped in gold foil tin. And the Escobar Fold 2, which is just a Samsung Fold red tin gold tin. But that's not the case. That is the case, but that is not the point. The point is they sell it for ridiculously low prices of like $399, which is, wow, mind-blowing. But up to this day, no one knows if it actually is true or do they actually ship out those phones. Some YouTubers got it, MKBHD got it, Lou from Unbox Therapy got it, but like people order it, but does it come? They say that they, some of them never came. And this is probably another one of those cases where they take their phones, rebranding it as their own, but it's buying under something else. So basically, you're going to buy refurbished iPhone 11 Pros for $499. And this article is by Engadget, quite reputable, lovely place to read. Nice for four months, following Bizarre Saga, yep. And since their time, they've now been selling iPhone 11 Pros. 256 gigs, that, that's not a lot, of, that's a lot of storage, just saying. And lawsuit, ooh, having a lawsuit against Apple, nice. Look, I was see a MKBHD revo- reviewed the phone of the Escobar Fold 2. If you want to see a story, you can go watch it, it's on his channel. But really, like, a phone that used to be $1,000 brought it down to 500 and the only thing is refurbished? With just a metal wrap on the outside, that is janky. I would say it's like not ideal. Move on to the next article. Boom, boom. This horrible thing. Ah. Okay, now, people have been complaining about this Galaxy Fold novelty. So. Honestly, I would say it's a bit overpriced like, for a foldable phone. I I know there's a few, but it's just, I feel like folding phones are like a novelty thing. Like, it's just folding. Like, it's nice tech. But people are going to like this. It's the Galaxy Fold Lite, the light version of the normal Galaxy Fold. Which is, I don't see any difference. Okay, this article is by Tom's Guide. Okay, I don't know of him, but yeah, nice. This could be a low-cost version of the Galaxy Fold, of course. Hence the name Light. Of course, they have already come up with two different types of Galaxy Fold. The Galaxy Z Flip. And soon... Dev Gold Fold 2. But this one, apparently, they say that the Galaxy Fold Lite may not boast of features, yeah, of course. And the most ex- this expensive one is about 1400 Wow. I've seen it, like, it costs a lot. Like, really a lot of money. We see the vote debated nine thousand nine hundred eighty. Wow, under kind by six hundred. But they say the fold E rumors to just looking to nine hundred dollars off the fold price. Now that means it's a thousand and eighty dollars for a foldable phone, which is well, if you say you're a couple years late and probably if the novelty have not worn off yet, that you say is actually quite a steal. $900 of what the Galaxy for original price was? I mean, people buy those and it may fly off the shelf. 
Okay, then look at this designs here, schematics. Just looking at this, dual camera setup probably, or maybe a tri camera, or that maybe a flash. And they see that the outside they're not gonna have any more screen, so they're just gonna have this line. So they're following the Z flip. And when you open it, it's basically like the fold. Yeah, a 1.1 inch notification panel, yeah, as I said. But basically, it just looks outside, except for the outside, the third screen. It doesn't have the third screen. It just has this, no thank you, but, okay, let's continue. Line on the outside for your notifications, which is, well, losing the point. That means whenever you need to open the phone, you have to open it and then close it, and open it and close it. Well, the old one, yes, it may be just a small screen, but at least you can still use it with a actual f as an actual phone screen without having to open it and closing everything in the time. And of course, you have to know that the hinges, by just doing that opening and closing, how long would the hinges last? We do know that the original Galaxy 4, when it came out, when people start peeling it off, the screen... It started flickering. No part of the hinge, but the hinge will get dirt in it. So I don't know what they're gonna do this time round. Right. Um. Hey. Hope you enjoyed. It's the first video, as I say. Really, it's the first one. Oh my god, it's so weird. How many times did I say weird in this video? I'll probably put a counter down there of seeing how many times I put weird. But yeah. Okay. So this is gonna be the end of the video today. Hope you like it. Uh, as I'm gonna link all the articles I've talked about in the description, you can go and read it out yourself. As I said, all this is just my own opinions, per se. <laughs> no, I like, really, it's my my own opinions. It's my first time doing this, also. So please don't go hard too hard on me. Oh God. But I hope you enjoyed it, and within this COVID nineteen is coming to an end, hopefully soon. But everybody stay safe and stay home, okay? I'll probably be doing this like every day now. Maybe every day. But tune in every day for new techno feed content. Goodbye.